hand in the pioneer work of the Mass Education Council, that knowledge will be spread to the farthest corner of the land. The lamp, which is literacy, will be set burning in every village. The two young men walked down to the new camp near the city, where serious young men and women, themselves from the districts where they will return to teach, are learning to build the nation. They learn to plant strength-giving foods to increase the health of the villagers. They learn to impart those basic talents of reading and writing without which so much of life may be closed to a man. They learn to foster home arts and community life, to keep the inner spirit of the people still strong and gay, even in sad and difficult times. For without that gaiety, the flame which burns in Burman hearts would go out forever. Not many people of the world today, said the city boy, continue to remember that laughter is a healing force. But the Burman knows this, as well as he knows the lines upon his own hands. In the antic joys of water festival, there is restoration for tired spirits, clean washed hope for troubled minds. <laughs> upon the water festival, every year celebrated with the same happy solemnity, comes the full moon of Kasan, most blessed day of the Buddhist year. Every year up the slopes of the great pagoda, Worshippers carry their flowers and their offerings in the fullness of their hearts to commemorate that joyous day under the bow tree where the Lord Buddha received his enlightenment and showed a new way of life to a waiting world. Country boy and the city boy, as Burmans and Buddhists, were a happy part of the worship. For, as all of their kind, they found happiness in piety. <laughs>
was as such people, hard-working, ingenious, happy, pious, that many thousands gathered together to set themselves a plan for Burma. They heard their leaders speak of the good tomorrow and how they could all work together to give it full flowering. They called this conference and this plan Didatha, Didatha Yami, toward a welfare state, they said. That was the true course for Burma, a better country, a richer life for all of the people. They heard their prime minister set the keynote of this tomorrow. If we earnestly yearn for the five qualities of right nationhood, which are good education, good health, good economic position, good character, good fellowship among all indigenous races, which is envisaged in a new era, we must exert all out efforts with great courage, perseverance, and good hopes, basing all our activities on the solid foundation of our mental faculties, material resources, and manpower. <laughs> the symbol of the freedom of Burma, which was at the core of all he had heard and learned. He had made his journey, he had reached his goal, he had found his family. This was his family, the union of Burma. The good people, the brave people, the loyal people, the happy people. They were his family. They had been torn apart and lost from each other. But now they were united. Now they would be strong. They would build Burma together. 